So I want us to give voice to individuals. We have to put the lived experiences of, you know, people who've been subject to some of the most appalling crimes at the forefront of our own thinking. We would never want to experience what yeah. they have. And it's the same, it's no different um, in how I work with my colleagues at the MOJ. So it was only two years ago <clears throat> I met with a constituent and I've been working on her case for a long time. I took her in to see the regional crown, the head of the crown prosecution locally, um, because she needed to be explained the process around what happened to her, but the sentence that was given to the individual basically that had left her blind in one eye, changed her life completely. The level of violence that she was subject to was just abhorrent, absolutely abhorrent. And she's a remarkable lady, really remarkable, and a young mum as yeah. well. Now, we can't imagine what has gone, what she has gone through and how her life has changed. But that said, you know, not just as a member of parliament, but actually in government, as a representative of the British government, I want to affect change. So working with my colleagues, you know, what else can we do? Crown prosecution service, sentencing, um, put in much more victim-centric views forward. Um, when cases are being prosecuted, how can we support victims during a criminal through the criminal justice system? How can we make sure that their needs are met? And when they have such terrible and debilitating, life-changing circumstances, what can we do, you know, as a society to support them?